In the vast expanse of the cosmos, amidst the twinkling stars and swirling galaxies, lies the tantalizing possibility of civilizations beyond our own. From the humble beginnings of humanity to the far-reaching potential of Type 7 civilizations, the Kardashev scale offers a fascinating lens through which to explore the evolution of intelligent life in the universe. Join us on a journey as we delve into the intricacies of Kardashev scale, from Type 1 to Type 7 civilizations, pondering the profound implications for humanity and our place in the cosmic tapestry. First, let us find out, what exactly is the Kardashev scale? Proposed by the visionary Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev in 1964, the Kardashev scale is a framework for classifying civilizations based on their level of technological advancement and their ability to harness and utilize energy. At its core, the scale measures a civilization's capacity to tap into and control the energy resources of its environment, whether that be a planet, a star, a galaxy, or beyond. Now let's discuss the seven types of civilizations based on Kardashev scale. Type 1, the planetary civilization. This one possesses the ability to harness and control all the energy resources available on its home planet. This includes mastering renewable energy sources, manipulating the climate, and potentially even colonizing other celestial bodies within its solar system. While humanity has made significant strides in this direction, we are still in the process of transitioning from a Type 0 to a Type 1 civilization. Type 2, the Stellar Civilization. Moving up the scale, a Type 2 civilization, or Stellar Civilization, can harness the energy output of its entire parent star. This civilization might construct megastructures like Dyson Spheres or Dyson Swarms to capture and utilize the vast energy emanating from their sun. With such immense power at their disposal, these civilizations could embark on ambitious projects such as interstellar travel, terraforming other planets, and even manipulating the orbits of celestial bodies. Type 3 – The Galactic Civilization A Type 3 civilization, often referred to as a galactic civilization, transcends the boundaries of its home solar system to harness the energy output of an entire galaxy. These civilizations would possess technologies far beyond our current understanding, allowing them to travel between star systems, shape the structure of the galaxy itself, and potentially even manipulate space-time. Type 4, the Universal Civilization. This type commands the energy of multiple galaxies or even entire galaxy clusters. Such a civilization would wield unimaginable power, capable of manipulating the very fabric of space-time itself, they might harness exotic forms of energy, such as dark matter or dark energy, to fuel their vast endeavors. With mastery over cosmic scales, they could shape the structure of the universe to their will, transcending the limitations of individual galaxies. Type 5 Civilization Moving beyond the confines of individual galaxies, a Type 5 civilization harnesses the energy of the entire universe. At this level of advancement, they may possess technologies that allow them to traverse the vast distances between galaxies with ease, exploiting the resources of countless star systems. Their understanding of the fundamental forces of the cosmos would be profound, enabling them to manipulate space-time on a scale that defies comprehension. Type 6 Civilization Speculated to exist beyond the bounds of conventional physics, a Type VI civilization transcends the limitations of space and time as we understand them. They may exist as entities that permeate the very fabric of reality, manipulating the structure of the multiverse itself. Their mastery over the fundamental forces of the cosmos would be absolute, allowing them to shape the destiny of entire universes and traverse between parallel realities effortlessly. To a Type VI civilization, the concept of distance and time would be but fleeting illusions in the grand tapestry of existence. Type VII Civilization At the apex of the Kardashev scale lies the enigmatic Type VII Civilization, existing as beings of pure consciousness or energy beyond the constraints of space and time. They may be entities that have transcended physical form altogether, existing as cosmic entities that exist beyond the boundaries of individual universes to a Type 7 civilization. The very notion of reality, as we perceive it may be, but a fleeting dream, as they navigate the infinite expanse of the multiverse with ease. 
their existence would be shrouded in mystery, their intentions and motivations unfathomable to beings of lower levels of advancement. Earth's position on the Kardashev scale. Earth's position on the Kardashev scale is currently estimated to be somewhere between a type zero and a type one civilization. First, let's discuss about Earth as type zero civilization. As a type zero, Earth is still heavily reliant on fossil fuels and non-renewable energy sources for its energy needs. While humanity has made significant technological advancements, particularly in the fields of communication, transportation, and medicine, we have not yet fully harnessed the energy resources available on our planet in a sustainable manner. Our energy consumption is limited to what can be generated by the biosphere, with only a fraction of the sun's energy captured and utilized through solar power. Challenges such as climate change, environmental degradation, and geopolitical conflicts over finite resources underscore our status as a type zero. Our civilization is fragmented, with nations vying for dominance and resources rather than cooperating on a global scale to address pressing challenges. However, our progress in science, technology, and societal development provides hope for the eventual transition to a Type 1 civilization. Earth as a Type 1 civilization transitioning. As humanity continues to advance technologically and socially, we are gradually transitioning towards becoming a Type 1 civilization. The Kardashev Type 1 civilization harnesses and controls all the energy resources available on its home planet, effectively becoming a global civilization with a unified identity and purpose. The indicators of our progress towards Type 1 status include advancements in renewable energy technologies, the development of global communication networks, and efforts towards international cooperation and diplomacy. Renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, hydroelectric, and geothermal power are increasingly being utilized to supplement or replace fossil fuels, reducing our carbon footprint and mitigating the effects of climate change. Global initiatives aimed at addressing environmental challenges, such as the Paris Agreement, demonstrate a growing recognition of the need for collective action to ensure the sustainability of our civilization. Additionally, advancements in space exploration and colonization efforts hint at our aspirations to expand beyond the confines of Earth and establish a presence in the cosmos. Projects like SpaceX's ambitions to colonize Mars and the burgeoning space tourism industry represent steps towards realizing the vision of a Type 1 civilization capable of venturing beyond its home planet. The probability of Earth reaching Type 1 status on the Kardashev scale is both promising and challenging. While humanity possesses the technological capabilities and ingenuity to make the transition, significant obstacles remain, including socioeconomic disparities, political instability, and environmental degradation. Reaching the goal of global unity and cooperation will be essential in overcoming these challenges and navigating the path towards becoming a Type 1 civilization. Practical considerations such as sustainable resource management, renewable energy adoption, and responsible governance will play crucial roles in determining the feasibility of Earth's advancement on the Kardashev scale. Practical implications and philosophical considerations. While the Kardashev scale offers a captivating framework for understanding the potential trajectory of civilizations, it also raises profound philosophical questions about the nature of intelligence, technology, and the cosmos. But how do we define civilization? What role does energy play in shaping the destiny of intelligent life in the universe? And what are the ethical implications of wielding such immense power? In conclusion, the Kardashev scale offers a captivating framework for understanding the evolution of civilizations and humanity's place in the cosmos. From the humble beginnings of a Type 0 civilization reliant on fossil fuels to the far-reaching potential of a Type 1 civilization harnessing the energy of its entire planet, our journey is one of profound significance and promise. As we gaze up at the starry night sky, let us ponder the vast possibilities of the cosmos and our place within it. From the humble beginnings of humanity to the far-reaching potential of Type 7 civilizations, the Kardashev scale invites us to embark on a journey of exploration, discovery, and wonder. Whether we ultimately reach Type 1 status or beyond, the quest for knowledge and understanding will continue to drive us forward 
propelling humanity towards a future among the stars.